Ricasaurus from LA. I love Dan. He's always been cool to me. He was awesome and funny as Artie's co-host on the Artie Quitter podcast. Thanks for having me on as a guest. Yeah, uh, you know, Dan comes cheap. I'm not going to lie. And, well, Rick brought uh, his cousin. That's why I let him in. <laughs> you know. Whose cousin? He's Rick's cousin, you know, the one that you're always talking about, the first yeah. cousin he wants to. He, he, I go, dude, why do you put that stuff on social media? I'm joking. I'm joking. I got nothing to do in my truck. Yeah, but I don't think he's joking. Yeah, he, <laughs> he, he, he's joking. No, he sends the pictures of her, and I'm like, uh, well, I mean, yeah. I get it. I can't I get believe it. that she would let him take pictures like that. That's why there's something. So you think the whole thing's fake? I, I uh, well, he's married, and I don't. I know that I I've been around him socially, and he doesn't like go after. How have women. you been around him socially? Well, he was at a, a lot of the Los Angeles shows. He would come and. He would call into the show all the time, and so our, we gave him free tickets to the three shows. Oh wow! You've, you've met a, Rickasaurus in real oh, life. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Sure. Uh, were you starstruck? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it was a that was it was such a uh, a high of meeting Rickasaurus that weekend, and then such a low from having to stop stuttering John from going into the audience to beat up somebody because they kept on yelling, "You suck! You suck!" And uh, that's that's the problem between me and Stuttering John. I wouldn't let him go out to the audience. Well, he wanted to go to the audience to fight them or to talk yeah, to them? To fight them. He and a two of his cronies, uh, uh, all three of them stuttered. <laughs> the I, stuttering can't see, I can't see a <laughs> Stuttering John be a, a great fighter. Oh, uh, he's on the slow level. So I think, uh, didn't he beat up a couple of guys on the Stern show? We, we didn't have Stern in Chicago until... Very late, so I didn't. I don't know who any of these people are, but I knew who. Obviously, I knew Artie was, and I knew who Jackie Martling was. Jackie Martling used to send jokes and those same jokes to Stephen Gary, uh, two huge DJs in the Midwest in 1981, 82, and I get him in the mail, and we called him, and he wanted an enormous amount of money, and Steve goes, "I'm funnier than that guy." Well, he would send jokes in the mail. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't even know how that works. So they weren't topical. They were just like no, jokes. no. They were old, like uh, you know, Henny Youngman jokes. He so he just uh, I'm confused. So he would get old jokes and send them in the mail to you. Guys. Yeah, he he said I, I'm writing these jokes. To you. I want to be part of your show. I've heard you know he couldn't have heard us unless he got a tape of us, like Howard. And so um, he wrote into Stephen Gary. We we've talked about it. Uh, he and I, Jackie. Yeah.